here is going to be like the first test of my homemade steam engine. As you can see, it looks a little strange. There's a boiler made out of a mini spray can. Got my line from my propane tank. The railroad spikes in these are just to prop it up a little bit, but um, got the fire going right there. Got a sight glass made from a tube. I don't know if you can see. It's about it's up to there. Then um, this is actually from an air compressor. And just drill the hole in the top of the tank, and then just solder that on there with my torch. This torch. And then um, just got picked this up today at the hardware store. Little little valve there, and there's also some copper tubing. I just this you know braced it down and stuff. Now this little block here and this thing really isn't anything. It's just the pivot point. And this is just because the nail moved around a little bit, so I just put that in there. But one thing I think I'm going to have to do is change this out. It's a little piece of fuel tubing, just like this, shaped to make it go in front of the hole. But these are the cylinders actually made from bullet shells. They have some pretty good compression, it's all I have to oil it up before the first try. But And the flywheel is made from an Outrunner RC motor with a big gear on it from a Briggs and Stratton motor. The gear is from went from the crankshaft to the camshaft, that's the gear. And then just of course block of wood. And that's pretty much a little simple setup. This is not permanent right here. I'm probably gonna mount it somewhere else. I'm gonna mount this on a big board with the boiler on up on a stand and probably run it off a of, off a of sterno instead of this because that just doesn't look too good. Doesn't look real good. Although, actually, I picked this up at a garage sale. Didn't really know what it was for, and the kind of flame it uses. I'll show you. It has a flame like this, and like that, so. I don't know. I think it's for a pipe testing, but I'm not really sure. So, but it works works pretty well, and it's actually just luck that I tried it out, and it fits on there, and it leans down like that perfectly. So, turn up the fire a little bit. Maybe it'll boil up a little bit faster. And uh, so I'll probably check back when we have steam up. I'm gonna tell you right now that setup did not work at all. Turns out that after um, trying my boiler before, it didn't work. Um, I had a lot of problems with really wet steam because, like, when you fill the water level halfway up, it was so small that, in comparison to like the boiling bubbles, it would hit the like the tube coming out. And then would just bubbles and water would come out everywhere. So I took an old propane tank. You can see the difference between my new Fat Boy tank and the regular one. Um, but then I just took some regular copper tubing, a quarter inch, just brushed it up, just made a hole in here in the propane tank, and then I'm just going to solder that on there. So I'll get back to you and I do that. Okay, let that cool. Just put a nice little bead of solder around there. And now I'm going to make the fixtures up here. And then I'm going to have to make a sight glass in the back, just like my old boiler. That's probably going to be tough because there's two step in here. Like this is a little thin plate, and then comes the tank. So I'm going to have to try that out. So, I'll get back to you when I do that. Okay, my boiler's done. Just finished it. Uh, I soldered everything, and you know, it's, it's all bent over. Got my valve on here. Goes to the engine. And finished up cleaning the back up and everything. It's It was a pretty hard job, I guess. But then I got the sight glass on there. It's like glass. But just some fuel tubing from like an RC car and stuff. But um probably gonna test it tomorrow. Probably have a video of that. Just tell you how it goes, so see you then.